Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn what is page break in SSRS report and how to use this one. First of all, we will be creating a tabular report, then we will add a group to the report, and then we will introduce page break per group value. And then finally, we'll add some other items and use the page break to understand how to work. So let me take you to SSMS, SQL Server Management Studio, and show you query that I'm going to use for my report run this query and you see some results so we are returning 12 records and i can create a group by region or country and we have some other values such as sales person first name last name item names and all those kind of information so it is in this sales database let's go to ssdt sql server data tools i have already created a ssrs project if you don't know how to do it you can watch my previous videos and you will find that link now in the SSRS project will need a shared data source so it is pointing to the sales database if you don't want to create a shared one you have option to create embedded in the next step go to the reports and here click add new item click report and let's give this name page break report add now here on the data source right click add data source and you have the option to create embedded data source so give this give the name ds sales in our case and i'm going to use the shared if you are creating or using the same database for multiple report then it is good option to go ahead and create shared data source and use in the reports so if your every report is using different database maybe then you you want to create embedded but in my case my most of the reports are coming from the sales database and i'm create using that um, shared data source to point to the sales database hit okay now click on the data set add data set data set is a result set returned by your query so ds let's call this set sales total give the once we have given the name we can use this one as embedded provide the query so this is our query hit okay now right click here and insert table let's make it a little large so we can put our fields and they will be looking nice uh, sales first salesperson first name salesperson second name last name product name and then i would like to have a region so let's take a look on this report and now you see this report is returning us the records from three regions so it says north america europe and asia and the one of them we do not have any value so let's go ahead what we want to do we want to create the group now by the region so what what we can do we can click here and then say add group parent group and now we can provide the column on which we want to create a group on region that's what we want to create a group hit okay now let's go ahead and see our report so that's how our report is looking like so the column even the, with the blank region is coming in the first so that's also coming as a group and the rest of that we have asia europe and north america what we want to do we want to have see each of the region on each of the page so we want to kind of split this entire report into multiple pages depending upon the region values so what we can do here uh, we need to go to the region and the right click group properties and we can go to the page breaks so here we have option page break options click here between each instance of the group so we have such as four values we want to create a page break we want to have them on each of new page so that's what will work for us we can also also put here also at the start of the group also at the end of the group so whatever but this will work just fine for us so it okay now you will see that okay the very first is coming on the first page we have a null region here and the next one is asia and third one is europe and then we have a north america so that's how the page uh, break works so now let me put one more thing here so let's go ahead and let me add a header and uh, here what i want to do i want to just uh, put my report name so it will come on each of every page so we'll see a nice uh, good looking report insert text box uh, and i'm going to call this one uh, total sale report let's make this one a uh, di little different color maybe bold 
let's increase the size now we give some color okay this looks good now it's much better than uh, what we had before now preview the report uh, and uh, now this is the first uh, group uh, and we have done the page break so it is a blank uh, and next uh, we'll see total sale report and we have Asia then we have Europe and we have a uh, North America so that's how we will use uh, the page break on the groups uh, next uh, I want to do few more things uh, let's say this is our uh, uh, this report uh, is a detailed report. We want to have another report uh, that will, uh, let's say, a matrix report. Now, what I want to do, I want the regions on the rows, and I want to have product, uh, let's say, product name on the columns, and uh, then I want to have a uh, sold items. So this is what I want. So this is also a report created. Now let's take a look how it look like when uh, we don't have a page break between uh, two of these. Uh, tablex and matrix so let's take a look now first came just fine second uh, to Asia Europe and North America it is uh, coming on the last page so in our case what we want we don't want this report to be coming on the last page with our detailed report we want this to come on the next page and in that case one more thing I would like to do here I'm gonna insert a text box just to say that this is a the end of report just to show you now this the end of the report also these both will be coming at the last page so if we go ahead and preview it at the end we see that now what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna go here and right click and say tablex properties and I have add a page break before and after so keep them on the same one page if possible uh, that th these are the options we have uh, for the page breaks here so let me do one thing add a page break before so let's say if we do before what happened now let's go ahead and take a look so we have values first is coming fine Asia Europe North America and the next uh, this part is gone to the other page so that's what happened when we did the before so we are doing before right here add a page break before so it is uh, the page is breaking before this uh, matrix uh, um, uh, item and now let's uh, remove this part add a page break after so let's see now what happened now if we'll see if you go to the last page this uh, matrix came to the same but it gave the page break right after that and the, the end is coming at the end so that's how you will understand uh, okay if you want to add a page break after or before so after will be after will be after of this matrix you know and before will be before this of matrix so that that these things are will be make some sense when you have multiple items and also we can do the page break here let's say in this case I want to remove this page break so if I go ahead and remove this page break so there is no page break and I can go ahead and do the page break on this one so let me see if I can do the page break here uh, not really we can't uh, really do the page break on uh, this uh, on text uh, we don't have that uh, possibility so page break is not on every item what we see here but uh, if uh, let's say if I will put uh, another item let's say I insert uh, a rectangle I can have uh, let me put this text box inside the rectangle so now I'm gonna put inside if you see now I can go ahead and give uh, the page break on the rectangle properties add a page break before so in this case I have done okay these two will come on the this detail and this matrix will come and then the page break will happen and this will go to the next page so I was not able to do with the text properties so I added a, a, a rectangle so you will use different things to group those items and if you see right now see they all uh, all came together but as we have added a rectangle and page break before so the then they are gone to the next page and you can see that the end of the report is coming next a rectangle we didn't put uh, any border or anything that's why you don't see that a rectangle so in cases where you have to do these kind of thing you can always uh, add items such as a rectangle and add uh, multiple logos and all that and uh, you can use uh, the page break option or uh, property here on these items so that's how you will be using page breaker to break the items 
your group levels and all those other different items such as matrix and tablets and uh, see the beautiful reports so so thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you next video